The Turkish Air Force has made significant progress in consolidating its air assets since the end of the Cold War era. However, many of its aircraft are becoming old, and the country has encountered various challenges in acquiring newer planes from allied nations. Consequently, the Defense Ministry has collaborated with Turkish Aerospace Industries to develop the nation's inaugural jet aircraft, known as the Herjit. Although limited information has been made public, the Herjit is anticipated to replace the T-38 Talon Trainer, as well as other aircraft like the F-16 Falcon and the F-5 used by the STARS aerobatic team. Additionally, there are rumors suggesting the development of a naval variant of this multi-role aircraft. After enduring a slow and arduous process of design and development, the hard work has finally paid off as the first airframe of the Herjit was unveiled to the public in December 2022. With the imminent debut of the inaugural Herjit taking to the skies this year, all attention will be focused on this innovative aircraft and the potential impact it will have on Turkey's military capabilities. The Turkish air industry has witnessed substantial growth over the past two decades as part of the country's objective to modernize its air forces and forge closer alignment with its European partners. In pursuit of this goal, the Turkish Air Force joined forces with Turkish Aerospace Industries in 2017 to embark on the development of Turkey's first jet aircraft. The main objective of this ambitious project was to retire outdated aircraft models including the T-38 Talon Trainer, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, and the F-5S used by the Turkish Stars aerobatic team. During the 2018 Farnborough International Air Show, a mock-up of the aircraft design was unveiled, and it was officially named the Herjet. The Herjet, serving as both a light attack aircraft and an advanced jet trainer, is expected to mark a significant milestone for Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. This single-engine tandem-seat aircraft incorporates modern avionics and state-of-the-art features that will enhance the situational awareness and combat capabilities of Turkish pilots. Not only will the Herjate replace aging aircraft within the Turkish Air Force and become the nation's primary jet trainer, but TAI has also disclosed its ability to fulfill various battlefield roles, including close air support. Although no specific details have been provided regarding the armament of the aircraft, it is anticipated that the Herjit will be equipped with over 6,610 pounds of ordnance distributed among six underwing hardpoints, divided between the two wings. Potential armament may include rocket pods, air-to-air -air missiles, anti-tank missiles, and precision-guided bombs. Visual materials and footage of the first prototype indicate that the Herjet has a length exceeding 44 feet and a width of approximately 36 feet. According to Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, the aircraft will possess several notable capabilities, including in-flight refueling, automated flight systems, and full integration with state-of-the-art heads-up display technology. TAI has also stated that the Herjet is designed to achieve speeds up to Mach 1.4 with a climb rate of 35,000 feet, a service ceiling of nearly 50,000 feet, and a range reaching 1,620 miles. In September 2020, Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, made an announcement regarding the successful completion of the development of a testing simulator for the Herjet aircraft. Notably, the simulator was created entirely using domestic resources, aligning with Turkey's objective of relying solely on Turkish capabilities for the aircraft's development. The simulator is equipped with artificial intelligence technology, which is expected to significantly enhance the combat capabilities of the Herjit and assist the pilot in maintaining focus during operations and engagements against hostile forces. According to TAI, the simulator will also contribute to the ergonomics of the Herjit's design based on feedback from test pilots. Additionally, it will collect data from ongoing training simulations that are still in the development phase. The prototype office of TAI further explained that the simulator's synchronization of avionics, flight control software, cockpit heads-up display, HUD, communication assets, and screens will provide detailed data that will be utilized to improve the Herjit. The simulator incorporates certain components of the Herjet airframe along with the latest technological advancements, 
Its size, real-time software, and wide viewing angle enable it to detect the movements and actions performed by a pilot during simulations. Additionally, the AI technology integrated into the simulator can identify errors made by test pilots during test runs, as well as other common mistakes often encountered during the training of aspiring pilots in the Air Force. Attila Dogan, Deputy General Manager of Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, highlighted that this achievement is a pioneering development for the industry. If proven successful, the simulator will play a pivotal role in the Herget's training capabilities. In an interview with Global Defense Corp, Dogan emphasized that the 270-degree Herget simulator was developed prior to the assembly and production of the Turkish warplane. Its purpose is to gather data based on avionic software and control algorithms, ultimately contributing to the creation of a distinctive and highly efficient aircraft. Just months after the announcement of the Herget's 270-degree simulator, the Turkish Defense Ministry has unveiled plans to develop a naval variant of the aircraft. The decision was prompted by the imposition of Katsa sanctions by the United States, which affected Turkey's procurement of the powerful F-35B fighter jet. Following the sanctions, the Turkish naval forces have been actively seeking a solution to acquire or develop fixed-wing aircraft capable of operating from the landing helicopter Dock LHD Anadolu. This amphibious assault ship can be configured as a vertical or short takeoff landing V or stole aircraft carrier. Ismail Demir, the head of the Defense Industry Presidency, further announced that the LHD Anadolu would be transformed into a drone carrier, supporting Turkey's latest aircraft advancements, such as the Bayraktar TB3 drone. While the Herjed has yet to make its debut on land, Ismail Demir, head of the Defense Industry Presidency, disclosed in an interview with Anadolu Agency the intention to adapt the Herjet's design for naval operations. He stated, We have been working on making changes in the design of the Herjet to operate on naval assets. We conducted various designs and simulations, and it has been observed that the current form of the aircraft can evolve in this direction. Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, swiftly responded by confirming their ongoing discussions with the Navy regarding the potential utilization of the Herjet for carrier-based operations. TAI's aircraft program's manager affirmed that the aircraft will have the capability to take off from and land on carriers, and efforts are already underway to adapt the Herjet for naval missions. However, despite these reassurances, some experts have expressed concerns about the suitability of the Herjit for seaborne operations. They argue that the aircraft may require a reinforced airframe to withstand the demands of carrier-based missions. Furthermore, numerous modifications will likely be necessary for the LHD Anadolu to accommodate the Herjit. Due to the primary design of its small flight deck for short takeoff and vertical landing, Stolfs aircraft, the carrier would require a catapult system to provide the necessary speed for initial takeoff and an effective hook system for aircraft recovery during landing. The question remains as to whether the short flight deck will be sufficient for the Herjet to safely take off and land. Nevertheless, there is optimism that the Turkish Navy and Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, will work together to find a solution for developing the naval variant of this forthcoming Turkish-made aircraft. In the ground test phase, TAY and the Turkish Air Force publicly unveiled the first prototype of the Herjet shortly before Christmas 2022. This marked a significant milestone as Turkey's first domestically produced light combat aircraft and jet trainer was showcased to the public after being moved from a hangar for ground testing. The prototype displayed on the runway was in an unpainted state and lacked several crucial components, such as engines and electronic systems. Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, intends to manufacture two fully functional aircraft prototypes for further testing and anticipates commencing engine and electronic system evaluations in the near future. TAI has ultimately selected General Electric's F404 GE102 turbofan engine for the Herjet.